Hey everybody, I'm going to do a uh, video on how to root the LG G4 and I am actually doing a remake since now I got some pretty cool software to do a video a whole lot better. So you guys can see me do the commands and as some of you guys may see my last video at the end of it, my G3 died. So I had to like post the image on XDA. Okay, that was weird. Oh, I know why it moved. Uh, I'm doing something in the background, so <laughs> let's forget about that one. I uh, finally get to close that window down. That will be into a different video to what project I am doing in the background. Um, since I'm doing a video, my phone's already on 13B, but if you're on uh, 11A, you're going to have to do this method first to what I'm going to do with my 13B. So if you're on 11A already rooted, you're going to have to KDZ 11A so your phone's back to stock. And I think if you are on 11A, you can upgrade the, uh, the system update and it will push you right on over to uh, 13B. Um, I think there is a way to KDZ your phone from 11A to 13B. So, I, I'm not for sure on that one, so you might have to do your homework, but the last video, I have to update my phone the OTA way. Um, but I am going to show you how to key, KDZ your phone, and then go into root 13B. Uh, the first thing is, you're going to get your drivers for your phone, and uh, download all the necessary software. Uh, there's a link in the description on the bottom of uh, this YouTube video to, that will take you to the to one of my posts that has all the step-by-step -step instructions if you're on 11A and going on 13B and if you're already on 13B I have showed some parts on the post to what you can skip if you're already on 13B um, so I'm hoping that this video will help you guys out so let's get started uh, once you get your drivers and plug in your phone you're going to need to get the LG flash tool. It's mainly what I use. I'm going to run that as administrator. And I am going to find my KDZ file. So if you have it on desktop, then get it. If you have it on your downloads folder, get it there. Or you can just throw it in the root of the LG, G, the LG flash tool. So I am going to get my KDZ file. And then you're going to click this button, C, S, E, flash. And then you're going to click on start. Oops. Before we even do that, when you're on this page, leave it alone. I'm going to bring this into view where you, you can see me. Uh, before you hit that button, we're going to put our phones in a download mode. So what you do... I'm not worried about that. That will be for later on for what it, why it was asking me to allow my PC. What we're going to do is we're going to hold down the power button. And we're going to press uh, restart. And then hit OK. As soon as you hit OK, hold down the up button. That's what I'm doing right now is holding down the up button. And while you're doing it, your phone will be doing something like this. And then as soon as you see that logo right there that just popped up, you're in download mode. Alright, and then you will get this. So I'm going to place my phone behind my computer. I'm going to turn this one off. Alright, so when your phone's in download mode, then what we're going to do next is hit OK. I'm not going to worry about changing the language and all that stuff. And for some reason, this program likes to screw with me. Sometimes it comes in English and then it comes with all these question marks. And then it's going to say there's an error. So if you get something like this, um, I don't think it would be a good idea to press that one. Make sure. Alright, click on this box. 
and then leave it alone. All right, there you go. My phone's doing something in the background, so I'm going to show you. So like I said, leave this alone. I'm going to move this out of the way. As you can see, that little, sorry about the camera flickering, I don't know why it's doing that. As you can see, the percentage is going up, so 12, 13, and so on. So right now, I am flashing the stock image into the phone. So I will be right back as soon as it's done. All right, the phone is done. It's actually going to reboot. And uh, what you guys will be seeing here in just a second is this software is going to fail. The phone will reboot on its own. So I'll just leave the phone alone at this moment. Still waiting for it to crash. Software didn't crash for some reason. Well, usually this flash tool will just crash and then you just tell it to close out. I don't know why it's not doing it right now. Um, I guess it's going to exit out of it. Because you don't need it no more when you get the Verizon logo on your phone. That's a surprise right there. Alright, well, while the phone is doing its thing, I will be right back as I got like 10 more apps to go while it's doing its thing. Um, okay, so we're back to continuing to root this phone. Um, as of right now, I had some technical issues with my phone. I changed my password on March 8th and uh, I was having problems having access to my phone so just show you what day it is right now it's the 10th it's the day I reset a password on my Google and I lost access to my phone so I was up all night trying to figure out how to get my how to get access to my phone because I didn't want to wait that 72 hours because to me that is kind of ridiculous especially when I am the owner of this phone so I found a tool that will hack that uh, Google verification after you reset your phone and to let you guys know I will not be showing that tool because I really don't know the rules of XDA with this specific tool it may go against the rules it may not but I will not show this tool because apparently if your phone's been stolen and a thief catches my video and go, oh, this guy's dumb enough to show us this tool. Cool. Let's go ahead and hack this phone and have fun with it. So I will not show the tool out of respect out of other people who may have their phone stolen. If you really want the tool that freaking bad, Google it. If you can't find it, then the phone's not really meant for you. If the phone is uh, yours and you have any issue or you've forgotten your Google password, Google it. If you find it, there you go. But I recommend anybody not to share this tool for what evil power it may hold. Which, it came good to me, but for other people, uh, yeah. It's possible to bypass this Google verification stuff, but again, please do not ask me for the tool. Alright, we're going to go ahead and continue on our uh, root so what we're going to do is we're going to plug in our phone I kind of screwed up my video at first so I already have the images in here oh, my legs hurt I broke in one of my chairs so I'm like on my knees on an entertainment system here 
So I went to lean up and this chair just broke. So more welcome to call me a fat ass. <laughs> All right, so we got our phones connected. I'm not worried about this debugging stuff because the phone's going into go in download mode. Uh, we're gonna connect our phone and the images are provided in this post here. I brought my post up just to remind me to what to do. So uh, if you're on 13B, go ahead and grab those images, including the LG root, and uh, we're gonna go on from there. Once you get the images, we're going to take our rooted image and system image, and we're gonna throw them into our internal storage. As you can see, I have both of them right here, so we are going to put this phone in download mode. Yes, the phone has to be in download mode in order for this to work, so I'm gonna go back to root, and I am going to put it in download mode. So let's power off our phones, and as I showed in the beginning of the video, uh, as soon as you hit the OK button for the restart, hold down the up button, make sure the phone is connected to the computer, and then you got once you get that download uh, icon and you can let it go and set your phone aside and we're connected so what we're going to do is we're going to hold down shift right click you can let go of shift after you uh, right click on here and open command window here we'll bring this into view we're going to bring up my post now before I continue on Please note, this is only for Verizon VS986. If your phone is T-Mobile or any other variant, your codes are provided any post that I've left a link to, so look for those. The code that I have on my post is specifically for the VS986. If you use that DD code on your T-Mobile and brick it, I am not held responsible for failure of listening to instructions. All right, so what we're gonna do here, actually I didn't need the CMD open, but we, we are gonna need that here in a minute. Is we're gonna click on ports.bat. What you're looking for is this right here. With the number one at the end, COM3. This is very important. If your says four in this section right here, that's what number you need to keep an eye on or keep remembering. 99, 82, 364 million, whatever the number is, you're going to need that number after the comm. This is very important. Because failure to do it, well, you screw up your device, I'm not held responsible. Alright, so, we'll bring this up. Go back in my post. Uh, well, explain we're going to copy this thing without the quotation marks. Do not copy, well, not, not quotation, but do not copy the asterisk. We'll copy the send command dot exe slash slash dot slash com. Don't need to worry about the hashtag. So we're going to copy that. We're going to paste it in there. And whatever your number is, type it in there. Minus three. If yours is 99, type in 99. If yours is 4 million, type in 4 million. Those are just examples. We're going to hit enter and we're going to get this hashtag. Then we're going to go back in my post. Where is it? We're going to copy this DD code. Again, this is for the Verizon LG G4 only. So we're going to copy this whole code. Again, do not copy the asterisk. Just as you can see there. I'm going to right click paste it. We're going to hit enter. And this should take about five, ten minutes at the most. And uh, when it's done, you'll get that hashtag. I'll be right back. Actually, that took about three minutes at least. So when you get that hashtag on here, I'm going to press caps lock. I'm going to type in leave. Oops, I didn't even have my caps lock on. L E A V E. We're going to type in leave. We're out of there. And your phone will reboot.
top off to the side. And there you go, you get the Android is uh, starting. And I'll show you that I am rooted. Right there's our little friend, Super SU. Come on, focus. There you go, Super SU. So that is how you uh, root the LG G4 13B. And I will start making videos for how to use uh, Flash Fire, uh, install camera mods and all that. Those are going to be done in a different video because this one's already going to go over 10 minutes. So happy rooting. Ooh, bye.